Ag AM in Kansas brought to you in part by Kansas Corn. Learn more at kscorn.com. We're back. Let's join Dwayne and Rick Furnish as they discuss Old World Blue Stem. Dwayne Taves joining you once again here on Ag AM in Kansas. While at the Kansas uh, Grassland and Forage Council, an opportunity to talk with Rick Furnish uh, from Guyman, Oklahoma, about Old World Blue Stem. Rick, you give a little different perspective than certainly uh, those in central and eastern Kansas uh, would look at it. Uh, it's a more viable propos- proposition for those uh, in those low rainfall areas. Yes, sir. You know, we live in different worlds, and, and what will work for them uh, doesn't work for us, and what works for us probably wasn't going to work for them. You know, and we don't have much trouble with invasion. They do. So, you know, I understand their plight, and I wouldn't recommend anything or try to tell anybody how to run stuff that's, that's not in my area. You've come through a period of uh, extreme drought, uh, Panhandle of Oklahoma, western Kansas, north Panhandle of Texas. Uh, have things turned around for you at all at this point as far as the moisture is concerned after this last summer and fall? Well, I hope so. You know, we went from three and a half or four inches of rainfall uh, for, in 14 to the, this year we got 27.4 inches. But, you know, I don't know that the drought's broken I appreciate all the moisture, but I hope it continues, but I, I wouldn't bet on it. So talk a little bit about uh, ranch management in that area, utilizing Old World Blue Stem. Uh, what kind of gains do you expect, and, and are we talking about stalker kettle or, or pears that, uh, that you're working with primarily? We work with uh, exclusively stalker cattle. Uh, we, we run about one to the acre. We get about a pound and 75 per acre for 90 days you know it's a 90 day grass out where we live and uh, that's you know you can run cows on it and people that do that in our area they utilize it for the whole year you're in a part of the world where uh, opportunity to utilize manure is uh, pretty readily available i understand Uh, is that something that's worked for you with the old world blue stem there no sir it uh we haven't used we've put some on some pig affluent we put some on and it uh basically uh eliminated our grass over a period of time because of the salt as far as uh, your final take home message then uh, for those individuals that were here at the conference in Manhattan about old world blue stem i would tell them to do what works for them because you know that's what we all have to do uh you know what they do won't work for me and what I do might not work for them but I was just telling them what we do well our thanks to Rick Furnish uh, with Hitch Ranch uh, out of Guyman Oklahoma spoke at the Kansas uh, Forge and Grassland Council Winter Conference in Manhattan certainly uh, a product or a plant species that works in Guyman Oklahoma that the Manhattan Kansas may not be so fond of Jamie back to you in studio Thanks, Dwayne. Next up here on Farm Factor, this week's Kansas soybean update. Don't go away. Kansas Farm Bureau, the voice of agriculture, represents grassroots agriculture. The state's largest and most powerful farm organization stands up for its members through leadership development, agriculture education, legal defense, environmental advocacy, farm safety, and risk management. Members also enjoy money-saving benefits. To join our organization today or to learn more, go to www.kfb.org or find us on Facebook and Twitter.